Certo, aqui está a história. Miguel's treasure. Miguel was a young boy who lived in a small village in Portugal. He was a kind and gentle boy, but he was also very poor. His mother was sick, and he often had to work to help support her. One day, Miguel was walking home from school when he was stopped by a group of bullies. The bullies were led by a boy named Bruno, who was the biggest and meanest boy in school. Hey, Miguel, Bruno said, we're going to go hunting for marmots in the forest. You're coming with us. Miguel didn't want to go, but he knew that if he didn't, Bruno would hurt him. So he agreed to go. The bullies led Miguel into the forest. They walked for hours, but they didn't see any marmots. Miguel was starting to get tired and scared. He didn't know what he was doing in the forest, and he didn't know how to get home. Finally, the bullies stopped. They were in a clearing, and there was a small, abandoned cabin in the middle of the clearing. This is it, Bruno said. This is where we're going to find the marmots. The bullies started to look around the cabin. Miguel followed them, but he didn't know what he was looking for. Suddenly, Miguel saw something shiny in the corner of the cabin. He went over to take a closer look. It was a small, wooden chest. Miguel opened the chest, and he gasped. Inside the chest was a treasure trove of jewels and gold coins. Wow, Miguel said. This is amazing. The bullies came over to see what Miguel had found. They were just as amazed as he was. This is our lucky day, Bruno said. We're rich. The bullies took the treasure and ran away. Miguel was left alone in the cabin. Miguel didn't know what to do. He knew that he should take the treasure home to his mother, but he was afraid of what the bullies would do if they found out. In the end, Miguel decided to take the treasure home. He knew that it would help his mother to get better. Miguel walked for hours, but he finally made it home. He showed his mother the treasure, and she was overjoyed. This is going to change our lives, she said. Miguel's mother used the treasure to pay for her medical treatment. She got better, and Miguel was able to go to school full time. The bullies, meanwhile, were bragging about their newfound wealth. They told everyone in school that they had found a treasure in the forest. One day, the bullies decided to go back to the forest to find more treasure. They thought that they would find even more gold and jewels. The bullies walked into the forest, but they didn't find any treasure. Instead, they found a wild deer. The deer was scared of the bullies, and it charged at them. The bullies tried to run away, but the deer was too fast. The deer knocked the bullies over a cliff. The bullies survived the fall, but they were badly injured. They had to spend a long time in the hospital. Miguel heard about what had happened to the bullies. He was glad that they had been punished for their cruelty. Miguel and his mother moved to a new town, and they lived happily ever after. The bullies, meanwhile, were traumatized by their experience. They never forgot the day that the deer had thrown them off the cliff.